going on guys we're doing another one today for more for Monday we're gonna pick up where we left off on the last the last uh, stream just trying to see if I can get in here and fix the name and stuff oh yeah I gotta do it over here fresh start okay Oh, I gotta get rid of this because they muted that last time, I guess, because of the song. I didn't think about that before. Um, that was the only thing that might have been copyrighted on the on the stream. Episode one, episode two. The Borderlands 2. There we go. I'm uh, gonna make sure that the everything's still the same. Uh, I'll do my network options. I'm gonna do public. That way people can jump in if they want to. I'm always up for helping people out. People help me out. But like I said, we're just gonna continue. We're gonna pick it straight up. So it looks like yeah, I'll catch some more. This is still not working. Greetings! Yes, I feel you have too many bullets, but I don't have to I did the bully long. But I did never go in that building. There's stuff in that building. We can do that later. I can fast travel back to that. So we're just gonna do the mission. Just gotta defend Clap Trap. I believe that we'll have to do the slot. Not an infinity pistol. Seventeen times sixteen. I think that might actually be more. So you can actually compare it too. So I'm gonna do compare. So it's not on the one, one hand. hand. And that's the one I'm keeping, right? Yeah. Do that. Do that. Those. All right. So I actually. Okay.
Okay, so I don't know what's going on, but it shows me I'm not streaming no more. Gotta figure out what's going on here. There we go, that looks good. Let's just get this out of the way. Yes, most of the merchandise was...
I, I should probably clarify. The diamond horse I've been telling you about, it's not a sculpture or anything. It's a living horse that actually happens to be made of. Actually, I'll just, I'll go get her. Mud Stallion says hello. It's Boo Boo! <laughs> Light the fuses, bitches! So, blast radius is nowhere near as good. Not intended for indoor use. Damage is based on player level. So, this one actually rises with me. I think I'm going to keep this one. Like that one is only worth 26 bucks. I'm gonna drop that one. I'm gonna drop that one if it's less than 50. Besides E2, because I'm still using those. Dropping it. I'll just make it less than 60. Dropping it. Try to 
So it's got 19 mag, deals explosives. I haven't quite used it yet, so I'm going to get down first. Which explains why his men are currently beating the crap out of me, right, guys? Shut up! Okay! Careful, honey. Oh, you're the eye! In 
better but um, the damage so get the that one hey tiki show fan has joined the game all right because this one's stronger
Let's get to killing, sweetheart!
Challenge completed. We're near sanctuary, buddy. You go on ahead. Tell the locals what will require for my welcome back party. I'll stay in here. Sanctuary's off limits. You bloodshots can stay in your hole. I see you. Awesome. Why don't you boys run on back to your camp? Sentry deployed. Oh, good idea. I think we'll just turn around and head back to our... Die! Pandora is a violent and dangerous place. Sanctuary is... slightly less so. You'll need a car to reach the city gate. Get to the catcher ride. machine will digitally construct a vehicle for you. Whoa! Unauthorized kills are up in my grill! You're trying to hack my... Damn it. Oh, sorry. Uh, darn it. A man named Scooter controls these catcheride machines. He may be short a few chromosomes, but he's a savant when it comes to vehicles. He's locked the station to prevent the bandits from using it, but I'm reading an inactive Hyperion bot in the Bloodshot camp. If you can attach its interface adapter to the catcheride, I can hack the machine and get you a car. Just attach the adapter onto the pressure rod, and I'll get you a free car.
shift. Wait a moment while I hack the catcher ride. <laughs> Authorized user accepted. Enjoy the ride, and there's a pimento taco, a pimentaco, in the glove box. Cool. Try requesting another car. Sanctuary, you bloodshot skaglicks. Hold up. You're a vault hunter. Just a sec. Roland wanted to talk to you. Let me echo him. Oh, so you're the one I've been hearing all this radio chatter about. Name's Roland. I used to be a vault hunter like you until I formed the Crimson Raiders. We'll catch up when I get back to Sanctuary. For now, I need your help. My men tell me Corporal Reese hasn't returned the power core that we need to keep the city's shields running. Bring Reese back to Sanctuary and you'll have earned your place in the Raiders. This guy wants to trade. Roland's contacted you? Good. Listen to what he says. He can help us defeat Jack.
Jason Jack here, reminding you all not to worry your pretty little heads about those earthquakes. See, with every tremor, my drill gets closer to the vault, to freedom, order, and safety for us all. Except you assets in Sanctuary. Yeah. and Lancemen are recruited to the Raiders. Get that power core back. And while you're at it, kill some bandits for Reese. That's what he's gonna want. Looks like you've got an area waypoint. Sometimes your Echo device can't find the precise location of what you're looking for. Search the area marked by the big-ass green circle on your mini-map. Your objective is somewhere in that area. <laughs>
Reloading. Another sentry kill. Sanctuary today, at least. I get back to the city. We'll meet up once I get there. Welcome to the Crimson Raid. Oh, damn it! I'm being attacked. I'll see you. Stop that turret! Look at me when I'm charging at you. lost a good man today, but I'm sure Reese would have been happy to know how quickly you wiped out those bloodshots. is a message to Sanctuary, the last stronghold of the Resistance. 
And or as you knew it, the chaos, the bandits, that time has passed. If you let it, this could be an era of order, of peace. Just turn yourselves in and I promise, your deaths will be quick. Roland, is that you? Oh, it's the Vault Hunter. Get in quick. Roland's echo communicator went dead. We need your help. to see a friendly face when I'm burning that place to the ground. Oh, and I have decided that I will tell you my secret later on. Once you burn... You're the one Commander Roland was talking about. The one who faced Jack and lived. Look, we need your help bad. But first things first, plug that power cord to the shield generator. <laughs> Vigilance. We'll make it through this. The resistance has needed somebody like you for a while now. <coughs> Sir slash ma'am. Commander <coughs> Roland never came back from this reconnaissance mission. Left very specific orders for this contingency. I'll carry out. Go meet with the town mechanic. Crap. I mean, uh, darn. <coughs> Roland needs your help. Without you, the Crimson Raiders don't stand a chance against Jack. Please find out where Roland's gone. Oh, crap! Is you hop hearing? I heard all of you were robots and you eat metal out the garbage and stuff. Knew you wired deck machines be come for me once Roland went missing. Now, if you're here to kill me, you should probably know... <laughs> You'll never take me alive, you robotic stone bitch! Wait a minute. Huh? Well, hang me upside down from a telephone pole, cover me in honey, and lead me to a slow death at the hands of all these spider ants. Huh? You don't know how furious, robot. You're a vile hunter, huh? Now you gonna help us out with this rolling situation? I heard them Crimson Raider dudes talking about it. Roland told me if you ever disappeared, I was supposed to initiate Plan B. Or as I like to call it, Plan Turn This City into a floating ass fortress of airborne awesomeness. <laughs> B. I, I got some fuel cells around here. You'll need those. Oh, you'll need this uh, iridium here too. <laughs> city, so just turn him into me and you'll be rewarded. Don't worry, nobody's gonna turn you in. 
You're our only hope of stopping Jack. <laughs> Touching and made two of my fingers right off. I only accept iridium. Cash is for clowns, boy. Huh? in his pants. What? Nobody told me it was my birthday. Hey, soldier. You hearing this? I'm in trouble. Right now, you're the only thing standing between this city, hell, the whole planet, and Handsome Jack's army. I left info about my whereabouts in my safe. You can use it to store anything you need. This is your home now. Good luck. I'm happy to say I need not rely on you for help at the moment. so to speak. He knows the best way to strike at Hyperion. to any Crimson Raiders in the area. Sanctuary has been targeted by four Hyperion spies masquerading as bandits. They're hiding out in Three Horns. Find them, kill them, and see if you can figure out why they're here. <laughs> Gun doesn't seem to work. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like it works to me. Get over it. Hey, Bolt Hunter. If you're gonna be a part of the Crimson Raiders, 
You better know how to use I elemental weapons, weapons, don't you think? I've just got a crate of spanking new Malawan elemental weapons. Wanna help me test them out? I'll see you in the firing range. Fire weapons are extremely effective against flesh, but they're crap at destroying shit now. Burn that imperial bastard like a skag steak! These Hyperion fat take that, gas lover! Yeah, a few good hits from a shock weapon. Hmm, now what? Armored targets like these damn Hyperion robots can take a lot of damage. Unlucky. Now, let's try out Calvin's flag. He should be easy enough to finish off. Switch to another weapon and hit him again. Great! The weapons work, and you're ready to take on hand. If you want to purchase any elemental weapons like these, you could always buy some from your friendly neighborhood arms dealer. Crimson Lance left on Pandora. General Knox is dead, and knowing the Lance, they'll more likely cut their losses and leave you here than send an extraction ship. So unless you want to starve to death out there, you got two options. One, you become bandits. Two, you join me in protecting the people of Sanctuary. I can offer you food, shelter, and the chance to fight for something real. Something... I'm starving! I want to eat your babies! Son, this might sting a bit. chance I know the Atlas Corporation never gave you. Roland, out. Welcome, customer. Hey, uh, hey, Roland's boys caught this Hyperion jerk bag trying to sneak into the city. Looks like they messed up his lungs. Dude needs surgery bad. Get over here. You're gonna be my operating assistant. Almost dead. All right, make a small incision just below his sternum. But be careful, or you don't want to know the coronary artery. Close enough. An iridium shard. Offer. How many times I tell you, idiot, you can't get slag powers by swallowing this stuff. Well, that shard ain't no good in the black market. It didn't refine yet. You could probably take it to that tannis lady on the other side of town. She's real into that iridium stuff. When she ain't acting all hoity toity because she's got a real doctorate. Oh, and let me know if you're looking for work. I got stuff needs doing. Hey! I have Dominion over here! Oh, God as my witness. One day I will find a usable spleen. Is that job I sent you for is going okay? Let me know when you're done with that job. Is that job I sent you on going okay? Oh, crap! It, uh, looks like the hiding space in my super secret stash just fell apart, leaving it completely exposed. So... As I've said, Roland, now that Jack has the vault key, it is only a matter of time until he opens the vault. Also, I require a new ventilator. This lab smells of bacon. Bacon is for sycophants and products of incest.
After hours of scientific insanity, you could Come on back whenever you need some healing. As long as you ain't scared of a little tetanus anyways. You know what can make a bullet hole that ain't a bullet? Because I freaking don't. I've been seeing some confusing wounds coming from Three Horns. Head down there and find out what kind of weapon's causing them. An old rival of mine named Doc Mercy's using it. And don't let that name fool you. Unlike me, he's more interested in creating wounds and patching them up. Also, unlike me, he actually has a medical license. If you can hear this, and you're sane enough to understand what I'm saying, head to sanctuary. I don't care what Jack has told you, or how well... Yeah. <laughs> 
primate level intelligence. That's it. I shall call them primal beasts. I'll run it by my publishers. In the meantime, blow up some primal beasts Ooh. with grenades, would you? See how the new name works for you. Oh, my publishers despise primal beast. Bloody uncultured. All right, what about Faravals? They're the most ferocious creatures I've ever seen, and I say that having watched a thresher rip my arm from its socket. Repressed memories, oh! Anyway, take the new name for a spin. Shoot some of the Faravals projectiles out of the air. See how that name thrills you.
You fellas meet the missus? Decisions. There's like, it's a supply thing. Magazine size. Damage. Longbow. At least I thought there was one that was supply. I mean, I. Message begins. Ah, the blood shots are killing us. Ah. Pre-recorded message ends. You feeling the happy big motel, huh? Yeah, blood shots wiped that place out for good. After all, and kicked them out of sanctuary. You might be able to turn everything back on if you activate that steam pump. Take this slow so you can understand, all right? That thing's broke 
as hell. Well, better scavenge some replacement parts from the other pumps near the motel.
Hey, side question. Is it weird when I notice the moment you pick something up? You know I can see you in the bathroom? Wait, is that weird? I'm in it like a spying on you in the bathroom at a friendship day. Well, either way, let's plug that pucker in. Time for 